Uh -huh. Uh, 23 countries, Egypt, Honduras, Philippines. So the leaders of these countries, they must get that they're doing something wrong. They get it easier than a North American because, you see, the people who brought in the rule of law and property rights into the United States were in the 18th and 19th century. They were your great, 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 great granddaddies. You can't remember that. But in the case of these guys, they see that they're poor relative to your wealth. So it's easier for them to say, where's the difference? They're constantly looking for it so they can recognize it much faster. What we didn't realize over time was that the fact that you could determine that a piece of land went from there to here, you could also do it with a movie script. And you could also do it with an idea, with an invention. And once that there was certainty after who owned what, all of a sudden we started seeing that people trusted the paper more than the object itself because we found through law ways of standardizing it and recognizing it and on top of that you built a stock market and you built all that leveraging which has got you into some kind of trouble now but without which you wouldn't have gotten where you are today property rights gave us the power to prosper thank you hernando de soto thank you john we will be right back Isn't that sweet? And it reminds me, I'd like to wish you Happy Starvation Day. Well, that is what Thanksgiving would be called if the Pilgrims had kept to the communal property rules they started with. When they first settled at Plymouth, they were told, share everything. Share the work. You'll share the harvest. The colony's contract said that it was to be a common. Settlers were to receive their necessaries out of the common stock. There was to be no individual property. The labor of the colony was to be organized according to the different capabilities of the settlers. Sounds like Karl Marx. From each according to his ability to each according to his need. And that sounds fair. They nearly starved. It's the tragedy of the commons. When people can get the same stuff by working less, they will. Plymouth settlers faked illness rather than work the common property. The harvest was meager, and for two years there was famine. But then they dropped the commons idea. The colony's governor, William Bradford, wrote, they should set corn every man for his own particular, assign to every family a parcel of land. The results were dramatic. This has had very good success. It made all hands very industrious. Much more corn was planted. Instead of famine, plenty. Thanks to private property, they got food. And we have food. Happy Thanksgiving. Be thankful. Now, if only more people realize that it's private property that allows us to have wealth, to create wealth. Some people in the privatized park understood that private ownership does good things. Private ownership or public ownership? Private. Private ownership. I think they run things a lot better than the government does. Yeah, you know, facilities upkeeps are better. Private. Others had to have it explained to them. No, so but you make... said private was not so good. You got me there. <laughs> the private managers delivered when government didn't. What private property does, as the Pilgrims discovered, is connect effort to reward. That creates an incentive for people to care much more and protect things. That's what's protected the elephants in Zimbabwe, the buffalo in the West, and these Atlantic salmon. It's what saved the Pilgrims. And then it made America the richest country in the history of the world. If you live in this slum in Egypt and have no deed to your property, you're stuck in poverty. But when you know that your home or your store or whatever you make is safe from confiscation, then you can borrow and take risks and invest. That gives you the power to prosper. And that's the lost lesson of Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. Go prosper. Have a nice weekend and good night. Catch the post show conversation and get ticket information at johnstossel.com.
Hurry into the BMW Mission to Drive sales event for an up to $2,500 credit toward a new BMW. I had a heart problem. I was told to begin my aspirin regimen. I just didn't listen until I almost lost my life. My doctors again ordered me to take aspirin, and I do. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Listen to the doctor. Take it seriously. From the winner of America's Got Talent, Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., comes his new album, That's Life. Featuring Ain't That a Kick in the Head and My Way. Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., That's Life. Available now. This new AT&T 4G LTE is fast. Did you hear Sam got promoted to director? So 12 seconds ago. We should get him a present. Thanks for the gift basket. You're welcome. You see HR just sent out new... Office ones. rules? Because you're currently in violation of six of them. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. And seven. You guys hear that Fred's leaving? So 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Won't miss you. Oh, face cake. Some leftover cake. The new HTC Vivid. Stay a step ahead with AT&T 4G LTE with speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G. Does zero water remove a little red wine from water? It removes virtually all dissolved solids. Because conventional filters like Brita only have one or two stages, and zero water has five. Now available at major retailers. Last throw, Prince. And last chance at Medicare open enrollment, too. What do you mean? It ends December 7th. If you haven't reviewed your Medicare plan choices yet, well. It's getting late. Medicare gives you free cancer screenings and wellness visits. And 50% off brand name prescription drugs when you're in the donut hole. It's all part of the healthcare law. December 7th? I bet.